Hi, welcome to Nina in the Kitchen, where today we are making the best sourdough waffles that I have ever tasted. This recipe is so delicious and it goes together very easily. You do have to plan ahead because the first thing, first step is to make a sponge which sits overnight. So start your starter. Here we go. We're using 220 grams of starter. Like I said, that's one cup. I have one cup of buttermilk. Um, this was frozen and this is how I keep it in a little plastic baggie. I have a video on that. I will post that at the end of this video. Let me take that down to zero. So that's one cup or 224 grams of buttermilk. And then I'm going in with one cup or 120 grams of all-purpose flour. This is 13 grams, one tablespoon of a light brown sugar. And then you just beat this together. Look, that took about 30 seconds. Just put a lid on this or a plastic wrap, whatever you use, and park this overnight off to the side somewhere and let it rest. And when we come back, I'll take the one out that I made last night and show you what it looks like. So through the magic of television, everything's changed. I have my waffle iron. This is the starter that I made last night. I made this at about 8.30 in the evening and now it's 11.40, so it's been out for a while. Nice and bubbly and active. And now this is your starter. Separate from that, you're going to make batter. It's just one egg with three tablespoons of unsalted butter that's been melted and cooled, a teaspoon of vanilla. That looks like a heavy-handed teaspoon, that's okay. And then you add this to the batter that you made last night. Just kind of fold it in along with one half teaspoon of kosher salt and one teaspoon of baking soda. That will react with that buttermilk to give you a nice light waffle. Just be careful because you don't want to knock too many of those bubbles out that you've created, but you have to expect to lose some volume. Now, so once this is mixed, you just go according to your manufacturer's directions for your waffle iron and wait till you see how they come out. They're so delicious. When you do, when you load your waffle iron, what you want to do is just make sure that you're pouring it out so that, not to overfill it, but you want to get out to those corners. These smell so good and I know how good they taste, so I just couldn't wait and I thought I would close now. This is um, warmed maple syrup. And of course you can make this into pancakes. If you don't have a waffle iron, you can add bananas or berries. You can smather, slather <laughs> rather, jam on this. I don't know if you can tell how light this is. It's just, it's light and airy. The complexity of flavor that the sourdough gives it is just incredible. There's a little butter in there, so it finishes rich even though it's light. And then you have in the background, you have that sweetness from just that little bit of brown sugar. This is a really fabulous recipe. A keeper for sure. Thank you so much for watching. You know, I appreciate it. Let me know if you try this. You should. Bye guys.